Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be our new home tour. So I am going to first put in the empty home tour, which is fairly quick because uh, it was a crazy day when we filmed that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the house and show you some of the things that we've done at this point um, to the house, how it looks now with furniture and things that have come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you back about six weeks ago um, on the day that we got the keys to the house. All right, this is our empty house tour. Here we are at the front door. And when you come in, this is the living room. We still have a little bit to do. We need to stain the shelves. It's getting dark outside, so hopefully the lighting's okay. You know, a little area over here. And then when you turn back around, this is our dining room and our kitchen. And then out this way, This is probably gonna ultimately be a screen porch, but right now it's like a covered deck. So. This room is going to be Sophie's room. That's a major upgrade from what she had. It's a good bit bigger and it has a full size closet. So compared to the last house, that is huge. All right, so you have this little hallway. This is right off of the kitchen. You got a couple of linen closets here, one beside Sophie's room. And there's a bathroom here. We got two vanities, one on each side. And then a shower, bathtub, and the toilet back here. And they have a little window in here too. And then down this other hallway, we have another linen closet. And then this is gonna be Katie's room. So it's really very similar to Sophie's. It's the same size, the window placement's a little bit different. And she also, she also has a nice size closet. This is probably about the same size that she had at the other house. And it's really nice. Good size for her. So now we're back into the main area. It's a split floor plan. All right, so down this hall, behind the kitchen, got a little office. This is gonna be Gary's office. He'll have his desk right here. Then his file cabinet and printer right here. We are gonna paint the walls. It's a little bit much. <laughs> A little bit uh, dark for such a tiny little space, but this is the perfect amount of space for Gary, and it's not doubling as anything else. It's just just going to be his office. All right, then um, across across from the office is our bedroom. Again, we're going to paint these walls. It's a little bit much. It's kind of like an army green. Really don't like it, but the room is nice. I got two big windows. Got a closet over here. Um, Gary and I don't need a really big like closet for clothes. So I think probably what we're going to do, if we can manage it, is kind of like this, let this be sort of like attic storage. And then in the bathroom, there's another closet. And um, so we have the double vanity. Got a bathtub. They filled the bathtub up earlier to show us that the jets work. I'm gonna shower here, a little um, toilet room, and then this is the other closet. So I think I'm probably gonna do some sort of closet system in here and just like Gary and I will share this um, for our clothes because this is way more than what we're gonna really need.
Okay, so, and then if you keep going down this hallway, down here, there's no way to turn this on. All right, down here is the laundry room. So we've got some cabinets here, cabinets here, and washer and dryer will go there. We've got a little bit more space here. Not sure what we'll do exactly in here, but I'm glad to have a proper <laughs> big laundry room. That's really, really nice. And then we have a small bathroom here. Small bathroom here off of this hallway. So for reference, here's the living room, master bedroom, office, and then we're kind of down this hallway. And down here is the powder bathroom and the laundry room. And if you go this way, this is the garage. There's a garage out here. Got another little linen closet right here. And then up these stairs, we have a room over the garage. And this is actually gonna be my mom's room. So she's gonna be living with us. And this is going to be her room. So it's got its own bathroom. And then we actually had them add this closet. So we got a closet here. And then over here is her bathroom. So pretty much the same sink and vanity that the girls have. And then this is just a shower here. And toilet over here. All right, so now I'm gonna show you some of the changes that we've done to the house since um, it's been about six weeks since the original footage was filmed. And uh, so just so you can get an idea of what it's starting to look like now. All right, so here's what the kitchen is looking like now. We did replace the refrigerator, the microwave, and the range. And um, we're really liking the refrigerator. It's counter depth like the one at our other house, but the inside just seems to have a lot more space. So we're really enjoying that. We had to leave behind our um, Cuisinart toaster oven, so we replaced that. They have a model that's a little bit bigger, and we really like that as well. It works better since we have my mom here, so making toast or whatever, we just have more room. Also, it fits a, a bigger pan if you want to bake something in there. So this is our oven. We got an induction uh, range, and I'm really, really enjoying that. In the microwave, we brought our KitchenAid mixer, some of the stuff you'll recognize, um, some of the stuff you'll remember from our old house. The eucalyptus plant is new. We replaced our coffee pot with the exact same one, and this is the dishwasher that they had here. And the island, we got these stools, um, and we are enjoying those. So we're, we've gotten most of our furniture in now. We didn't move most of it, we did not. We, most of our furniture we were not able to move. We also replaced the pendant lights in the kitchen. I'll turn them off so you can get a better look, but I really like them. We actually got these on Amazon. All right, so this is the dining room. We also replaced the light. This um, light is very similar to what we had at the old house, and I really liked it. This is just from Amazon. Um, I can't remember where I got the one at the other house, but it was from somewhere else. This is our table that we had. We were able to move that, and I got this rug from Pottery Barn. We need to do something on this wall, and I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do there yet. So, this is right beside our back porch. I did um, a little bit of decorating over here. So I got these two shelves on Amazon. 
They are um, a light walnut finish and um, I really like those and I'll put some of the stuff that I already had, um, some of the decor, I know you'll recognize all of that um, in my plant up there. And then this little cabinet I got on Wayfair. Um, it was kind of an interesting color choice for me to go with green, but I really do like it. Um, I can't remember the exact, what they called the color, but um, anyway, I thought it was really, uh, it kind of went with the vibe of this house. Um, so what I use this cabinet for is my school stuff. So I just have Sophie's stuff in here. I've got plenty of room. I actually have more room than what I really need. Uh, I was originally putting the school stuff in these cabinets here under the um, counter, but they were a little bit difficult to get um, into and out of because every time we needed something, we'd have to move stools out of the way. So I needed something over here anyway, so I just decided to make it um, more functional. So I'm really liking how this turned out. So we did move our sideboard, but it broke and we didn't really have anywhere to put it other than out the front door. It was too wide to fit in this corner. So this kind of gave us a little bit of dining room furniture um, in the small area. So this house is actually a tiny bit smaller than our previous house. This house feels bigger to us and I think it's just because of the layout of the house and we don't have that like wasted space um, where we have the bookshelf and everything on the second floor. We don't have anything like that taking up a couple hundred square feet that we don't really use that much. So this house does feel a little bit bigger to us, um, but it's actually a little bit smaller. Okay, now we are out on the deck. This is where we were in the kitchen. So we have a couple of rocking chairs out here and a little table. We also have the black stone out here. So we had to replace the black stone as well as our rocking chairs. We had two black wooden rocking chairs on our front porch at the old house. So we had to leave those. These are um, the Pollywood um, brand. So they're, they kind of look like wood, but they're actually just plastic. So they're, they weather well. Um, so that was something we definitely wanted to invest in. Uh, so you don't have to constantly paint sand down or just replace wood rockers so we got all of our furniture in this polywood um material so this is our <laughs> the lighting's a little harsh out here right now this is our table this is where we eat most of our meals let's see if i can bring it up a little bit so it's seat six kind of barely fits in this area but it works well enough we can get in fairly easily we don't really use this chair over here, but if we did have somebody else like Gary's mom here, we would just move the table over and, you know, make room. So we do enjoy this space, but our plan is to screen this porch in, um, hopefully before this year is over. So we would add a door here, um, probably replace the small post with a large post to connect up here to the ceiling so that we could have an area here to screen and then add in a door. And we're going to be staining these railings and then they would just put the screens like right behind this. So um, we're going to stain this probably a very similar color to the front porch. We need to also stain the floor. Um, and then I think they're going to put in like a bronze colored um, screen system behind it. I think it'll look really nice and uh, kind of fit in with the natural environment that we have back here so we do have we do have a nice wooded lot behind us um, the lot I would say is not super usable because we do have a little bit of flat area um, it's super natural they don't do a lot of grass and stuff like that but um, you can see we do have like some drop off back here and it goes pretty far back but it's just basically a forest <laughs> so um, but we really like it um, there's not much maintenance and we have a beautiful view so it's definitely right up our alley from that standpoint so and you can walk down in there um, Gary and I have done that probably wouldn't take Sophie down there um, unless we were holding her hand or whatever because it is you know it is down kind of a little bit of a ravine it kind of drops off a little bit so 
but you can get down there this way where it's not too bad. All right, so this is the living room. I need to do some decorating in here. Um, these shelves need to be stained. So I haven't done a whole lot here yet, but I am going to be staining these. Hopefully a color similar to these. I really like that color. And this is our mantle, which just came in. So we're gonna have that hung here on the uh, fireplace. And we already have the TV installed there. All right, so that's just an electric insert. We don't have gas here, so very similar to where we used to live. Um, I do have my plants in here, and I just have those baskets up there because I'm not sure what I'm doing with those yet. And these two guys, y'all probably remember my fiddle leaf fig and the little olive tree. Um, we did get in our couch, and I thought this fit pretty well here. This living room is actually pretty small. Um, we do have our um, chairs that we brought from the other house. The end table and coffee table are new. Let me step back here so you can kind of get an idea of the scale of the room. It's really not a big living room at all. I'm still waiting on my rug to come in, but um, it works. So it does feel cozy. Friends, we'd love to pray for you. If we can pray for you, let us know in the comments below. We thought about some other configurations in here, but we really wanted to keep our recliners. So we got a couch that would um, accommodate. So we're happy with it. Um, the rug that I got kind of coordinates with this rug over here. And hopefully we'll have that in another couple of weeks. All right, so another thing that we did was we installed shutters around the house for window treatments um, and they are the same ones we had at our other house and um, they're probably a slightly lighter um, because we had to match sort of the yellow white that um, the people before us installed at our other house. Um, another thing that we did here that I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell or not, we repainted the trim and the wall. Um, the trim is um, was a very yellowy white. I can't remember the color of it, but um, I used Greek Villa, which is kind of my go-to um, sort of warm white. And then I also painted um, the walls repose gray, but it was lightened 75%. So it's a very, very light um, gray. And I think it works pretty well in here. The other color that um, it was originally the other gray that they used was much, much darker. And this house just doesn't get the same level of light that our last house did. So um, in my opinion, it just needed to be lightened up. And then over here, this is where I had intended to put the sideboard, but it broke. So we got rid of that. Um, this is the bench that we had upstairs at the other house. We did take that out and move it. Um, I really want to do like a board and batten effect here, but a little bit different than how I had it at the other house. I'll go ahead and ins insert a picture from Pinterest, which is kind of like my vision of what I want it to look like, but it'll have the um, board and batten, and then it'll have a rail with a shelf like on top, and then also some pegs, and um, and that the, the shelf part will be stained, and the rest will be painted the same trim color. Um, as our, our uh, trim in the house, which is Greek Villa. So we also got this little rug off of Amazon. So that's about all we have done in here so far. So hopefully in the next few days to a week, we'll have the mantle hung. Next couple weeks, we'll have the rug. And um, I think Gary is picking up the stain for me today. So I might be doing that soon as far as staining these uh, railings here. I'll go ahead and show you the front porch as well. So out here, this is the color that I'm thinking about doing on the back porch um, because I really do like it and I think it goes really well with the house. This is our um, uh, my wreath that I use for fall. You've seen that before. I got a new welcome mat. 
These are the same chairs that you saw on the back porch. We put two of them out here and two of them on the back porch. And then I put a mom out here, so I haven't done a whole lot, but it works for me so far. All right, so that's a little glimpse of what we've been doing so far in kind of the main area of our house. I'll show you bedrooms soon, but um, at this point, I'm still waiting on a few other things to come in. And, um, you know, we need to do some cleaning and straightening and all that kind of stuff in there. But um, that's kind of how the house is looking. And um, so I hope you enjoyed this um, unfurnished and partially furnished home tour. And we will see you next time, friend. Bye. My prayer is simple, God.